medieval friends. Today we are going to make a basic meat stew that you could find in just about any period, at any time, in any location. Um, we are going to do a Norse Gaelic version. Uh, so you're going to have barley instead of wheat, you're going to have certain vegetables, and we're going to use wild boar for our meat. We've got a fresh pick leek, dandelion greens, sage and lamb's quarters lamb's quarters is this big weed that grows in most people's yards pretty much all over the place uh, that's actually tastes a lot like spinach uh, we're going to use barley and we're going to use canola oil also known as rapeseed oil uh, which is a period oil so the first thing we're going to do is wash all our greens i've already washed these I use a strainer, I put it into a bigger bowl and fill those with water enough to cover all the greens and then wish it around kind of like you would like wash clothes or something. Um, you just put them in there, wash them around until there's no more sticky stuff on it. The lamb's quarters in particular, you got to watch the backs of the leaves will get these little black bugs on them and you want to make sure you get those off and mine grow in kind of sandy soil so there's a whole bunch of sand the leaves almost feel like like you picked them off a beach so you want to get all that washed off so now that our vegetables are washed we've got about two tablespoons of canola oil in a pan and we've got that heating up on medium i'm going to use uh, ground wild boar wild boar was found all over the place um, ground is not a period processing style but minced is uh, chopped is so you can do whatever you want with your meat this is what I had available um, that I could get a hold of so this is what we're using for this to try to make it a little bit more period even though ground isn't period so we're just gonna kind of break this up you know if you've got uh, diced meat you don't have to do this um, you're just gonna want to flip it to get your sides evenly cooked. Uh, this will get boiled, so if it's a little medium rare, that's not a problem. When you wanna sear the outside, you're just trying to cook in the juices so it doesn't get dry while it's boiling. So we're just gonna brown this, and I'll see you in a minute. While the meat is browning, I'm gonna start cutting up some of the vegetables. Uh, leeks, you wanna cut off just above this little root ball here. And in previous videos, I had you stop where it starts getting dark, right about this line. Um, when I buy leeks at the store, these greens were so hard um, that they were, they were kind of woody and, and bitter. And when I cooked them the first time, I really didn't like it. So I figured this part was inedible. That's wrong. This is supposed to be edible. And it, in younger ones like this that I just picked, um, it's really pretty malleable and, and soft and totally edible. So we're going to cut off this root ball, slice it down the middle, and just kind of chop it all the way up. A flower bud was starting to grow here, and this, it's almost like aloe. And I, I did not like the flavor of this. So I'm going to not use this part, but I will use the rest of the greens. Then we're gonna chop up the lamb's quarters. Then we're gonna chop the dandelions. And you know what? I'm gonna put half the sage in right now while the pork is cooking, while the, the boar is cooking. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna sprinkle that in here with that and give it a good stir. And that'll help infuse the oil as well as the meat and give it a little bit stronger flavor. I really like sage with pork, so I can only assume it will be good with the boar as well. All right, now that our leek is chopped up, and I've learned a valuable lesson, the whole center stem of the leek became this solid piece, and it didn't break up like a leek normally does, so I couldn't get these nice uh, segments. So the whole center part of the leek 
I just pull it out and set aside. So once they start getting a bulb to them, um, you don't want to eat that part. So we're going to take the leeks and we're going to add them to our meat. And I'm going to take about a cup of barley and add that in as well. And we're going to add water. Three to five cups of water. But we're going to let that sit for just a couple of minutes and kind of absorb the flavors. Um, some of my greens I like to cook them on the outside just a little bit. It changes the flavor just a hair. So we're going to let those cook for just a couple of minutes while I chop the rest of the sage. My apologies. My video was on photo and I did not realize I was not recording. I have added about four cups of water and the rest of the sage after it was chopped. And we're going to bring this to a boil and let the barley cook for about 15 to 20 minutes so that it's nice and plump. Um, you can use just about any local, wild, fresh, in-season uh, vegetables that you want. You can use dill, you can use cabbage, you know, throw whatever you want in there, whatever you like, do it. If you've got it grown in your backyard, even better. Um, if you know your local plants, feel free to get them. If you don't, don't start picking green things and throw them into your soup and make yourself a poison ivy dinner. That would be bad. Nobody wants to do that. So make sure you know what you're picking before you start throwing it into soups. Okay, we've got a pretty good boil going on. So I'm going to put the lid on this and we're going to turn it down below. All right, so our 15 minute timer just went off. So we're gonna check and see how it's doing. The barley's not quite done. So I'm gonna stir it and give it another five minutes. That soup's looking pretty good. So we're gonna give it one real good stir. And then we're gonna check the barley with good old Taste test. All right, we're good. So we're going to take our dandelions and our lamb's quarters that we chopped up. We're just going to add those to the pot and stir them around. And we're just going to cook these basically until they wilt, so maybe five minutes. Add a little water if you need to. Add whatever seasonings you want. Garlic, salt, long pepper clove, nutmeg, grains of paradise, whatever you want, throw it in there. It's just a basic, I can make this fit anytime, any place, soup. Everybody had soup, throw vegetables in it, throw meat, throw grains, nice and hearty, 